Hey, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from SethMarkwood.com. Together, the three of us, we're Markwood Ben's Breakfast Club. Welcome back once again to Tobacco Advent 2018, day 24, day before Christmas. Wow, good morning, boy. Good morning, Homer. You know, I think we passed a milestone yesterday, maybe? Maybe? We definitely have hit it today. Uh, we have done now 150 tobacco advent videos. We started in 2013. We did 25. Um, but I think we've done a couple of years where we have done 26 videos. Yeah. And I think maybe even one year we did 27 or 28 because we kept smoking through the samples we had. And so, congratulations. We've done... At this point, I'm pretty confident in saying we've done at least 150. And those numbers don't count in our weekly episode, which right. we're 220 some now. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. 230 almost. Man. Yeah. That's a lot of videos. That's a lot of <laughs> videos. Wow. And we are at the moment of recording really close to hitting 2,500 subscribers. Um. So. Thank you guys for watching and but you, supporting but the channel. But YouTube is purging accounts right now. I heard now, that. So who knows who knows uh, what, that's, what that's the final number will be. It uh, it doesn't matter I like because to believe, it's just the three of us. I like so, to believe that know. all of our subscribers are uh, real people and none of you are spam no, but, bots. But I too, and, and that's why I think of you as you, not the large group. I know boy reminds me all the time that no there's a lot of people in that third of Mark Ben's Breakfast Club but I, I think of you just as I think of boy as being an individual so um, I'm glad you're here so what are we smoking today so today's uh, tobacco came with this lovely Christmas card um, and makes me think it's surprising we, we get we don't get too many like Christmas card, Christmas card with these. Yeah. We get a lot of handwritten notes and things, and all, all very lovely. Um, it says, let love be present in each home and peace in every heart. Dear Scott and Seth, let Christmas be a joyous time right from the very start. Have a Merry Christmas season. Uh, this is Andre Tessier. Tessier. A? Tessier. Uh, P.S. Enjoy the 98 Christmas cheer. So this is McClellan's Christmas cheer, 1998. Wow. Wow. Thank mm. you, Andre. Mm -hmm. I met Andre, um, I don't know, I think it was last, early this year. Uh -huh. uh, I was in New York, and somehow or another he spotted that I was in New York and um, said, hey, since you're in town, why don't you come to the New York City Pipe Club? Oh, yeah. We talked and, about that. Yeah, so met up uh, there, and uh, I really enjoyed the club and enjoyed meeting Andre, and uh, so... Good, good to see your name popping up again, Andre. Yeah, thank you for the tobacco. Very generous. All right, what is 1998, that? that's incredible. Yeah. I was, how was I in 98? 13? It's 13 when this, uh... Maybe, maybe you shouldn't be allowed to smoke this. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, FDA, get off my back. <laughs> now, 20 years ago. Question of the day, I know. Does anyone else do that? I... Uh, you know, growing up um, in the 90s and early 2000s, it, I, I have these moments where I see things from the 90s, and it feels like, oh, that was just, you know, a couple years ago. And then I do the math on it. It's like 20 years. I'm just, just, just shocked just now when I said 20 years. 20 years. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. You do that. I you do. have those moments? I do. What about you? I do. I, well, I was just telling your mom the other day, and this has hit me a couple times in the last probably two years or so. I came here for a job in 1999 at the age of 35. How old are you, boy? I'm 33. So I think about that. Wow. That wow. I was about your age. Wow. With a 10 year you old and a lot 14 year that. old. That I know, even to me, I felt wow. like I had to be 45 or a so. A lot older than I was that. Yeah. 35 years old. Holy cow. No, I mean, I, I think about, I I remember, I talked before, my memory's crap, but I remember so much of life happening before we moved here. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's, it's incredible to think that, that, that you were my age when we came here. Really? Holy cow. <laughs> 
So I'm, I'm sure way, I'll bring I'm that up way again. behind. I'll bring that up again in two years. Am I that far behind? Behind? Because Ender will only be eight when I'm 35. Yeah, I, I, got, her, I got started Seven early. years? Seven years before? I got started early. What, 21 when I was born? Yeah. Holy cow. Wow. All right. So... Well, now I'm feeling uh, real old. Question of the day. All right, question of the day is, who is most likely to give you a gift as an inside joke? And if you have it, uh, what is the gift? That one's weird. So not the inside joke, but oh. the gift. Yeah. What is... Well, I mean, it could be... Yeah, what is the gift? Yeah. I mean, I think I'm with one of the people who's most likely to give me an inside joke as a gift. Uh, all, um, so we are wearing what started as a little <laughs> bit of an inside joke. Uh, you know, the, the poster, um, the Keep Calm and Tamp On, was a gift last year for Christmas that was an inside joke that started years before at the Chicago Pipe Show. Um, that we were talking about uh, just how... We're talking about um, collecting, co talking about blogging, blogging and URLs. collecting tampers and other stuff, and yeah, uh, kind of started started as that. Um, yeah, I, I've got a couple of other people. My brother-in-law is one who would give me a, a, an inside joke as a gift. My my wife might as well. Um, yeah, I, I immediately thought about about my wife, and she, she right now. Has is more likely to have a running joke as a gift that either she gives or receives because last year um, and now for several gift giving holidays um, there has been a running gag between my my wife and my mom uh, when they moved into their new house in the dining room on the wall was a peacock mural that was gaudy and large and they said they were going to paint over it. And my wife made a big deal about how you can't paint over something this majestic. And, and so my mom, before they painted over it, my mom snapped a picture, got a print, gave that to my wife for a gift. Framed it so it would Framed be sure it. to be, be used. So it's, we, have, we have the peacock in our entryway in our house. Um, and then my wife got my mom a peacock Christmas tree ornament. My mom got my wife a something. Yard, a, a yard. A well, yard even tag. before that, she got my wife a peacock uh, gift for Christmas. And then, yeah, we sh uh, one day th there was a fountain in our yard that they hadn't moved yet. And um, one day the fountain was gone. They came and moved the fountain to the new house. And there was a peacock uh, lawn ornament there. And so I am certain... I speak with certainty that there will be a peacock gifted and or received this Christmas um, between my mom or my wife in some <laughs> fashion. I don't know anything. I don't know that, I don't, you know, my wife hasn't told me any peacock plans, uh, but I'm sure that there will be an exchanging of the peacocks. No doubt. Well, it's like, it's like your grandmother and Dana with the uh, Barney, Barney underwear. Barney, Barney stuff. My 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 mother in law gave my daughter when she was way too old. She's like she twelve, was, thirteen. Yeah, gave her some Barney purple dinosaur underwear, and she was so offended by that. How could Grandma get me? She had to be a joke, and so she then got her something that had Barney on it, and then she got it. She got that. Okay, yeah, I guess that was kind of funny that I gave that to you. But they continued that for years, yeah. giving each other Barney underwear yeah. or Barney things. All right, so here's what's going to be. I'm going to receive from this guy one day a picture <laughs> of him smoking one of my Aristocob pipes. That's it, a, a, when I, okay, if you don't know. It doesn't have to be one of yours. Arist I can smoke one of my own. Aristocob, back in the 60s, was a company that made a metal pipe that had a corn cob insert. And I, I've had this obsession with them for years. Before I even had my own, goes back to eBay store, I was collecting Aristocob products. I was posting as Aristocob on a number of pipe forums. And so when we were looking for a name for our business, I liked the name Aristocob. We used it. Um, I've never smoked one of my Aristocob pipes. And, it, and part of it is because I, I know I can never get another one. I can never have another one. If I smoke it, it'll be it'll be smoked. It'll be gone, and I just have this mental problem with it. And if you if you I, aren't aware, the the Aristocob is a metal 
frame with corn cob inserts. And so the fact that, that you burn up these inserts um, relatively quickly. That haven't been made since the 80s. You can't get any more of them. And the, the, the scarcity is really the sticking point. But he owns right. a number of them and finds them everywhere he goes. No, he, not everywhere, but every pipe show. He fi- Every pipe show he finds one. Um, and I buy it. Buys it up and doesn't smoke it. Hasn't smoked any of them and has collected them for years. And and he always gets to them at the pipe shows before I can. Uh, <laughs> I'm not willing to pay eBay prices for them at this point. But yes, someday I will get one. You've threatened me. I will get one and smoke it. Uh, probably... During a, a filming of, of a show, I'll pull it out and say, hey, guess what today is? And then just smoke it here and make you watch that happen before you smoke one. That is absolutely a goal of mine. Uh, <laughs> yes, it has been. I need, to, I need to, to get on that. That's cruel, evil, and I expect it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. It, anyway, it's, it's not, it's, it's it's not, not exactly so much, an inside joke because you're now on the inside of this. It's, it's not even so much, yeah, it's... The, the sticking point, though, is that it, I, I'm confident no matter when I decide to do that, it will still be before he has ever smoked any of his. Okay, this has been years that he has been sitting on the I've, unsmoked. I've, I've equated this to um, uh, Mel Gibson in the movie Catcher con- in the Rye. Conspiracy yeah. Theory, where he buys the book catcher in the rye and he buys it constantly he has so many copies of it and when it when he finds it he has to buy it and as soon as he buys it he has to start the search to find another one i'm a little bit like that it's a compulsion for sure i guess it is i'm okay with that though but it's the name has served me well yeah (laughs) yeah you're absolutely right that will happen uh, how about you? What's a gift you're going to get from somebody that's an inside joke? Don't tell us the inside joke. Just tell us what you're going to get. <laughs> Post it in the comment below. Shoot a video response. We'd love to see that. That'll enter you in our giveaway. And uh, that will wrap us up. We will see you again tomorrow on Christmas Day. Andre, thank you for sending the tobacco along. Yeah. You, you know, you know. <laughs> that I'm an aromatic smoker, but I'm smoking this. Thank you for sharing this. It's uh, very special that you shared it with us. What do you think of it? Yeah, I like it. I like... Uh, I knew you would because... I do. I do. I do like it. Um, I uh, am grateful that we have some left in the sample that you sent. I will come back to this. Um, uh, to be truthful, uh, after filming multiple videos, uh, smoking several different tobaccos, it is it's strong for this stage in the smoking process. So I can tell that there's a lot more flavor that I'm just not picking up on. Um, And so I will come back to it at a later point. This is excellent, thank you. (laughs) Awesome. All right guys, make it a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. See ya.